Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about sketch motion effects in Camtasia. Alright, so I'm here in the Camtasia dashboard and sketch motion effects are cool because when you put them on your timeline and in your videos, they're kind of like animations. So let me show you where to find them and how to play around and use them. So you want to head over to annotations and there's a whole bunch of tabs here and you want to head over to the squiggly line, which is where you find all of the sketch motions. Now you can see there's different kinds. There's kinds that are more um, like perfect drawing and then kind, kinds that are like as if some were to, someone were to write it themselves. So I'll grab the arrow for example. And let me just zoom in on the timeline here. I'll grab the arrow and I've dropped it down. And I just have like a video to the, that I just filmed here to show you how I would use it. And okay, so we're on the timeline and I've put the arrow down and I'm gonna quickly press play. I'm actually just gonna first mute the audio. Okay, so I'm gonna click play. So you can see that the arrow was just drawn there on the screen. Now you can play around with this. When you click on it and it's highlighted, you can change some effects. So you can change the color. So if you have branded colors, like our colors are purple, so you can change it to purple, the thickness, that like it that was too thin for me, so I would probably have it like like that so that it's more bold that people could actually see it. And then the draw time is currently at one second. So you can make it longer or shorter. So if you go, let me go three seconds because it was at one second before. Let me play it again. So now it's going to take its time and draw itself. But you can make it shorter. See 0 0.5 seconds, it's going to go a lot faster. Oops. There you go. That's a lot faster. So they have it default set at one second. Just put that there. And then they have here flip horizontally, flip vertically. You can also do this. You can also click on this thing right here and you can flip it around, but you might not like the way the arrow looks like that. So you can flip it like that if you want it, the arc going that way. So there's many ways that you can play around with this. And it doesn't need to be you know, vertical or horizontal. You can put it at an angle. You can make it like this, make it longer, shorter, have the top part wider, all different kinds of variations. And like I said, they also have a circle one. And if you go here, you can Thicken the circle, change the color, right? Have it blue. And how would you, you would use this is let's say I'm talking about something in specific, like right here, and I want to draw attention to it. So let's say in the video I'm talking about something and I want them to look at that area, I would put the sketch motion around that area. And then while I'm talking, about it, then it would pop up. So it's like, oh, I'm talking about this thing right here. And then it's like, it circles it so that it draws the attention to that point. So people will look at that. If you want them to pay attention to that part of the screen at that moment, they also have a check mark. I mainly used like these three. So the circle, arrow, check mark, sometimes the, the box as well. So this arrow is uh, too wide. So I would go like this and raise it up a bit and then I would add the thickness here 
and then you can change the color to whatever you want and you can even do a checkbox so here I'll do one right here so I grabbed the box that was more perfect looking put it below and thicken the box so let's say you had like some things that you wanted to do check mark on the screen and you had a box here and you were saying something and it was like a check mark thing then I would first you need to shape it to fit Okay, just moving it accordingly and then depending on how you want it to go you can have the box appear first and then the check mark so I'll click play so the box is drawn in and then check mark or you can have it go at the same time right whichever way you want it to go so it's completely customizable it's really cool effects because it's sketch motion and it's good when you're doing explainer tutorial videos or you just want to point to stuff on the screen alright guys well that was it for this video that is sketch motion effects in Camtasia If you guys are interested in checking out the Camtasia software you can head down to the description below as I will have the link for you guys and if you want more free Camtasia tutorials, also head down to the description because I will have a bunch more playlists of Camtasia videos for you guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.